Hello everyone, this is Raymond from Sun Rain. Nice to see you again. Well, today we're going to see how the heat pump defrosts in super low temperature. Now I'm standing in front of our ultra low temperature labs. And today our engineer is testing our brand new R32 heat pumps. And we will take a very close look at how this heat pump operates and defrosts in such a temperature. Okay, let's go and check. Well, before we go inside and check, we need to know how does our heat pumps freeze up. Actually, when our heat pumps is operating in heating mode or heat circle, and the ambient air is relatively cool, and our outdoor coil acts as an evaporator. Therefore, it may cause moisture on the exterior components. Well, at this time, if the ambient temperature is below 12 degrees, then the froze might fall on the surface of the outer coil. But don't worry about that. It's just a physical phenomenon of water vapor condensation. Okay, let's go inside and check. Zoe, are you ready? Okay, let's go and check. Wow, it's beyond my expectation, it's pretty freezing. Wow, can you imagine that outside room is hot summer? Oh, it's pretty cold here. Well, normally below zero degree, our machine will be easy to get frosted. So at this time, it will just start defrosting program. Well, we can see here, when the machine starts defrosting, it will just reverse the four-way valve and then stop the fan. And at this time, the temperature of the outdoor coil will just increase. And then it will defrost the ice and then the machine will just start running again. Okay, uh, we can see here. Okay. Well, now we can see that and our outdoor coil has frosted. But you may ask me, when this heat pump will start defrosting? Normally, um, the temperature, the difference of the outdoor coil and the ambient air is about 9 degree or 7 degree, and then our heat pumps will just start defrosting. Well, it's, it's pretty simple, but actually we have to do many tests for it. So, I have to say our heat pumps is running very good for defrosting. And when the machine is operating in the frosting program, and then and it will just reverse the four-way valve and start the fan. And at this time, the temperature of the outdoor coil will increase, and it will just um, do very good contribution to the defrosting. Okay, now our machine is start defrosting. Although we can see here, well. You can see here, now the ice has become the liquids. Wow. It's pretty amazing. And also we can see here. Let's go see here. Wow, all the ice are defrosting. And now it's just become the liquids and it will drop down to the bottom of the machine and just it will just go away. So it's pretty efficiency. Very good machine. Well, except for the water vapor condensation, actually there are many other reasons that why our machines will get frosted. The cause of the frost and ice problem may include a bad reversing valve, a damaged outdoor coil, a wiring problem, a bad thermostat, a leak in the refrigerant, a dirty outdoor coil covered with grass, dirt, debris, and pet hair. A fan that won't turn on. A fan installed backward with the blades running in the wrong direction. A motor operating in the incorrect direction. Nice. Okay, now uh, we are beginning the defrosting program. And we will see that a few minutes, a few moments later, and then our fan will stop. And we will hear the sound of the reversing valve. 
please pay attention. Okay, do you hear that? Now our fan just stop. And it's starting the frozen program. And now heat pumps are defrosting now. And uh, this program may take um, two minutes to three minutes, and we will see what happens. Okay, we can see here. Now most of the ice are melting now. Wow, it's very soon. And we can see that most of the ice are melting. Wow, it's pretty amazing. You can see the vapor. And also on the front panel, you can see most of the ice are melting. And the ice uh, become the vapors. And I guess a um, few seconds later, and then the fan will just start running and spinning again. We have do we have do thousands of tests for the defrosting. So actually, uh, our defrosting strategy is, is pretty good. Okay, now. Um, the heat pan is start heating mode again.